we own okay oh. hi guys uh today we you and me are going to edit this photo together and before we start uh if you are new to this channel please subscribe smash the subscribe button hit the subscribe button for more contents please 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 yes let's do this let's jump in here okay, before before i just do anything here uh, i'll try to balance the photo to the way i'm going to like it i feel like it's just too dark so let me just pump up the exposure a little bit uh, 0.65 and um, reduce some highlights here uh, to about negative 50 and uh, reduce the blacks to about negative 50 just open it in photoshop and uh, we'll see what we can do with it we are in photoshop this is the the before everything before the balancing and the after this i think i like this just make a copy of it and then you just zoom it a little bit clean it up she's got a very good skin and we won't do a lot of retouch here and i'm using this and this one these are the tools that i use when i'm retouching my photos and uh, you guys will who does the retouching with the mouse i respect you so much because i can't do that i can't edit with the mouse i can't retouch my photos with the mouse unless with this a magic pen i use uh what's this um the patch tool to just remove what i don't like like the things that i feel like they're obstructing my pictures like fine i like this now i'm going to do the the frequency separation to make your job easy the frequency separation action I have it i'll put it uh, in the description there i'll put the link there where you can download it and use it and then i'll put the layer mask here Control i to paste it i will use the brush tool here and the opacity is at 35 percent then i'll zoom it a little bit just zoom it so that i can see how things and then I'll reduce the size to 200 and then I'll start painting like this uh, you can't see what's happening here so let me just open the group oh, just on top of the face the first layer there we'll just just put the black and white adjustment so that you or we can see what we are painting here so this is what we are painting so uh like this so you can spend as much time as you can but for the sake of the video so this is before and after before and after so here now we are going to do the doge and paint part create a new layer there and then i'm going to fill it with a 50 percent gray so i'll change the, the blending options to like to linear light i'll add the black and white adjustment on top there so that I can see I can see the dark part and the white part. Dodge and vein just means boosting the highlights and the shadows. I'm going on the second layer, go on Dodge and Vein 2. The group for frequent separation, I'll disable it for now so that we can see the actual photo, the original photo. We want the original face. So one we are going to like the frequency separation group we did adjustment and then we played with the skin so we'll use the original one it's the original so let's come on the dodge and bend here and i'll use the dodge and bend here i'll start with the dodge and then i'll just paint where i can see the highlights the bright part reduce the opacity there at this size sorry on the dark part so if i disable the black and white it's funny huh so change uh, the blending option from linear to like soft light here the before and after the before and after 
think this is fine. I'll enable the frequency separation group we did here. Yes. Nice. Before and after. Before and after. I'll just reduce the opacity a little bit. I think 65 is fine. So I think we are done now for this part. The cleaning of the face, the dungeon vein, and uh, a little bit of retouch. Yeah. So now this is where the magic happened. I'm going to use a preset that I created, a LUT that I created. Uh, it's from my Vintage 2.0 LUT pack. You can check it out from the description below. Let me show you how it works. Here, yeah, I just went there and then I'll come on uh, what's this, uh, color look up here and then go on 3D load, load, load it, EK1. So if you open it like this, boom, you've seen. Before the, the LUT, the LUT pack is, it's a pack and then there are about 10 LUTs for videos and photo. Even this video was color graded with my LUT pack. This is a before, this is a after. I think we're done just looking at the photo. I think I love it like this. Let me just crop it a little bit. Crop it to like, like this. Beautiful. This is fine, but I feel like um, the sky should pop up a little bit. Um, let me just make a few adjustments to the sky. Um, Alt Shift Control A. And then I'll commit it to Smart Object. And then I'll come on filters and then camera filter here and then you come here in this box and then load settings and then you come here boom you've seen the sky the sky now is popping up like so let me show you the before and after this is before and this is the after then I think I like it like this to do it okay I love this so if you are new to this channel please 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 subscribe you can share the video, hit the bell button so that you receive the notifications once I put up a new video. I think I'll be putting up new videos every week. I'll try by all means to do that, like every week, a new video. Every week, a new video. Uh, I think it's fine like this. Let me just sharpen it a little bit. I'll just go to the, uh, this one and then I'll, uh, I'll make a copy of it, Control J. And then I'll come here and I'll put my uh, blending options to linear light and then I'll come on the filters and then others and then I pass to about I'll put it at 0 0.5 there and then I'll reduce the opacity just a little bit I think we are fine okay guys um thanks for watching and please subscribe I just want you to subscribe thank you see you in the next video signing out